Maurizio Catalan is a star in Italy's art scene. His installations often shock, like these nine corpses lined up on the marble floor of the Palazzo Grassi. But for every celebrity, there are countless artists who are completely unknown outside of Italy's borders. The idea of this exhibition is to give a forum to those who deserve more international attention. Italy never in the 60s after the, the war and, and when the, the, the economy was start booming, like other countries, did not uh, invest uh, economically in culture, producing a network of museums that could uh, promote the artist. Some, like Pino Pascali and Marisa Mertz, owe their breakthrough to an artistic community created in response to the money-spinning American pop art movement. The Italian version is called poor art and uses only simple materials. Others decided to leave Italy altogether, seeking artistic fulfillment elsewhere. I'm happy to be born in Italy, but equally at the same time, from the early stage, I acknowledge the fact that my country could have offered little support for contemporary art, and so I left. The Italics exhibition brings together 250 works by 100 artists. It's not exhaustive, but offers a fresh look at 40 years of Italian creation, starting in 1968. Mixing two generations of artists allows fascinating comparisons. Some contemporary artists seem to respond to what others created two decades ago. But on the whole, the works presented are extremely diverse and that could leave some visitors a little in the dark.